All right, today I've got a treat. Every once in a while I stumble upon an application that I didn't know I needed until I have it, and now I cannot live without it. And today that one is called Speed Test Tracker. Uh, sometimes you literally go down the rabbit hole. So I will show you the web page here, which is speedtest-tracker.dev. Uh, it goes into his backstory about why he developed this. Uh, and it's essentially a graphical user interface that interacts with the Ookla speed test. So I'll show you my running instance here. My dashboard, you can see I've got a, a great connection here. 1.13 gigabits per second down, 1.24 up. Um, and here is the tracking for the last week or so. And you can see here on the 6th, I started experiencing some issues at 9.30 in the morning. I was able to call the internet service provider and they were able to work some magic. Now it took them the remainder of the day, but they eventually got it back up and working and performing where it should be. Uh, so it's just a really neat user interface that displays all sorts of information. You can set this up to run at whatever interval you want. So I'm going to go through that right now with you. There are a couple of applications you need beforehand though. The first of which is called Prometheus Operator. So as far as I can tell, this is a necessity to manage the alerts and notifications, uh, but it's a quick install, uh, but I was experiencing a lot of troubles. The, the speed test tracker application would just crash upon install. It, it wouldn't even, it, it would fail to launch essentially. Um, so then I threw some, some Googling and some some Redditing, I found out we need, oh, you need this cloud native Postgres Kubernetes module first. Went to go install that, it fails to launch. So, what you've got to do is, here we are on our TrueNAS instance, our apps page. Go over to Discover Apps and then Manage Your Catalog and make sure that you've got the True Charts installed but make sure that you've got everything checked. Incubator, premium, stable, and system components because a lot of these are gonna be in the system catalog. So if you don't have that, just add this catalog URL and then it'll show up in this list. And then, uh, then you can actually search for things and find them. So the first of which we gotta install is that Prometheus operator. So, oh, that's this guy right here, and it's literally a zero-click install with this. Um, you just click install. There's nothing to configure, so I'm not even going to go into the edit screen and show you. Uh, and the same with the cloud-native Postgres. So once Prometheus Operator is running, then you will be able to install cloud-native Postgres with this funky little elephant icon. And same exact thing, just a, a single-click install, nothing to configure. Once that installs and launches then you can go into speed test tracker and for this one you can edit a little bit so if you notice on my dashboard um, I just have my name glow fiber connection tracker so that just that's my internet service provider so far they've been fantastic I uh, highly recommend them super fast not sponsoring this video but if you want to I'm available um, to do that, all you've got to go down to is this We'll find it here. Here we go. So it is under the workload section. There is a bit that says used to define the application's name in the dashboard and in notifications. So you can name this whatever you want. The default is speed test hyphen tracker. Um, but if you want it to display something different like I've got there, you just hit, hit save and launch it there and then it will change the name up in the corner. Uh, so this is the main dashboard. You can see it'll show your latest test, your, your latest download speed, your latest upload speed, your latest ping. Um, and you can change these graphs to be just the last 24 hours, the last week, the last month, whatever you want. Um, so it's a great visual um, and pretty easy to, to operate. So 
In order to get this going, you've got to go to General Settings, tell it your time zone, and then what you want to do, so this uses cron. Um, it's really nice, they've got a cron generator in here. Just right click that and hit open in a new tab. And then that'll work you through if you want to change where the asterisks are. Uh, if you just want it to run every 30 minutes or so, I believe this defaulted to every five minutes, and I was afraid that Ookla was gonna just ban my IP from testing too often, and that was a little too frequent for me, so I went every 30 minutes. So if you do asterisk, backslash, three zero, asterisk, 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 I know that's a lot harder to say than star, whatever, then save changes. That's all you really need to do to get it up and running. Uh, if you If you leave this blank down here, it will select the best server for you. Um, and then as long as you can get to this screen and it's up and running, it'll just keep cooking. And it's it's been absolutely fantastic. Again, it helped uh, identify that, that down spot that we had uh, a few days ago and uh, they were able to get that fixed and I was able to give them some facts and data when I called. So it's really nice if you're a nerd like me uh, and you just kind of like seeing this stuff every once in a while, keeping an eye on it, it's a great tool. Just remember, Prometheus Operator, then Cloud Native Postgres, and then Speed Test Tracker. Uh, and that's all there is to it, but I pulled my hair out for about two hours uh, before I figured that out, so hopefully I can save you guys some time. Have fun, like, and subscribe for more.